Okay, we are going to discuss about the Salesforce Lightning Platform APIs. So on this particular trail, we have four. Actually, there are more than four, but we want to focus on the main four. SOAP API, REST API, and then we have Streaming API and Bulk API. So SOAP API is most useful when you are doing server to server integration. What does that mean? So for example, you have a website, a shopping cart page, maybe you are using WooCommerce, Magento Commerce, or any other shopping cart that sells product or services on a website. And you want to sync the data, like the orders, the sales, anything back into Salesforce. So you would be using SOAP API because that would be running in the background, right? Maybe it runs once um, in a few hours or it can also maybe run once every day or every hour it runs in the background. So you would use SOAP API to connect to Salesforce and push the data into Salesforce or pull or both ways, syncs, okay? So what about REST API? We use REST API for our day-to-day -day, um, application building within the Salesforce platform. For example, Visual Force pages or any other development you made that requires user interaction on the mobile device or on the uh, web uh, web version of the Salesforce app, we mostly use the REST API. Streaming API is like for notification alerts, like a push notification on your mobile phone, notification we have in Salesforce, we are using the streaming API. Bulk API, well, the name said it, the name bulk is for bulk processing. We use bulk API when we process at least 50,000 records at a time. So when you process 50,000 records, you will be using bulk API. Otherwise, you won't even be using it, okay? So that's the main four focus we are going to discuss very, very lightly on this particular trail. So we've talked about that a bit. And of course, to, to access the APIs, you would first need to authenticate yourself. And each of the API types have its own um, authentication type, which you can do. We will go through it all the way. Also, each Salesforce organization have limits, right? So we our code will not crash the Salesforce instance. They implement limits and the number of API calls we can do every hour or every day depends on several factors. See, the total limits vary by org edition, license types and expansion packs that you purchase. So it calculates and then based on what you have, for this example, you can do uh, 4,000 API calls and so on and so forth. All right, let's move on. Which API do I use? So you can see this table here. REST API for, uh, it's using the REST protocol. The data format is JSON and XML also supported. The communication is synchronous. So it can uh, process one at a time, not, not asynchronous, which can process multiple at a time. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go, uh, feel free to to read everything slowly on your own, but you can do that on your own. We don't have to read together, right? So I'm just gonna give you a high overview what everything is, and we're gonna go through the four APIs together. The REST API, the SOAP API, the Bulk API, and the Streaming API here. 
Okay, let's do the quiz. The API first approach to development at Salesforce lets customers extend functionality across Salesforce features. Yes. Choose the API best suited that to their needs. Yes. Build apps for the app exchange. Yes. So all of the above. REST API is best suited for which of these use cases REST? That would be writing a mobile or web app, right? Loading lots of data for the first time. We can use the data loader, probably. Deleting this bulk API, pushing would be streaming API, all right? So, SOAP API is best suited for which of these use cases SOAP? Building server-to-server -server integration, as I mentioned before. Bulk API is best suited for which of these use cases? Deleting 100,000 records at once. So that would be more than 50,000 at once. Streaming API is best suited for which of these use cases? Streaming for notification, right? So, notifying users whenever a record is deleted. What? are all the factors that contribute to the total API limit calculation. We just discussed that a bit. So, or addition, license type, and expansion packs. There you have it. So we've done the quiz. Next, we are going to dive into each of these API types together. Pada bing, pada boom. Yes, I'll see you on the next trail. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.